Welcome. Today I am on a very interesting armed expedition. The Swan Valley Survivors Coalition has had a grape dwarf problem. If you don't know what a grape dwarf is, they're a species of humanoid about this high. Ever since the collapse, they've been raiding their camps and doing all sorts of heinous things that would get me demonetized. Their reconnaissance team has tracked them to somewhere in these mountains. I'll show you a map on my screen now. What I've taken with me is of course, my trusty AR. The reason why I selected this AR for this mission is not only because it's the only one I have, but it also has a lightweight 5X scope. And when you're going up the vertical sheer cliffs like I am, you're gonna want an optic that is as light as possible. It also has a welcome amount of capability as well. In order to prove that I have killed a grape dwarf, I need to return with its head. The grape dwarf has been tracked by Swan Valley's reconnaissance team into these woods, although I suspect it's gonna be a little bit further out. I've already been hiking out here for a little over a day. I had to walk through the mountain pass. I have the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame 50. This is perfect for two to three day trips. I've got a modified uh, USGI canteen holder that is strapped into the molly, except I cut off the lid so I could attach my water bottle. Before heading deeper into the woods, I decided to dig into my chicken and rice mountain house. This stuff is very hard to come by in the collapse, so it's kind of a delicacy. Something to keep my morale up while I move deeper into the woods. And man, is this stuff good. I harvested the rest of my water and headed deep into the woods. Before the collapse, these mountains were just simply mysterious and beautiful. No one really talked about them and no one really ever went there. But after the collapse, this mountain became a very big problem for Swan Valley and the reconnaissance team. It was not that long ago that the reconnaissance team was stationed a lot further west than they are now. But nowadays they're afraid to go past even their outpost, which isn't even that far outside of Swan Valley. Which is why they hire people like me to address their grape dwarf problem. It's hard to impress on you guys how vertical this is. Don't know much about grades, but... If I've learned anything from the beginning of this collapse, it's that cardio is king. If my cardio had not been in a good state before taking on this job, I think I probably would have collapsed and died hiking half halfway up this hill. So please, train cardio. Libs will never understand how good this feels. I've made it to sort of the mountain ridge. So what I'm gonna do, gonna hike it up there. Right now I'm just taking a little bit of a water break, surveying the area, things like that. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any other human beings. It's kind of nice. Even though it's been a few years since the class began, I never fail to remember all the missing people who have disappeared into America's beautiful national forests. I think about potential ways that they could have gone missing and if I would be a victim one day. There's one particular cryptid I'm scared of most, and it's probably the human flytrap. It's a rather terrifying concept. This is more of an idea than an actual cryptid, but it goes something like this. Think of the Venus flytrap. How many insects do you think are aware of the Venus flytrap existence? Probably not a lot, because if a bug gets caught in a Venus flytrap, it is impossible for that bug to escape. Keep in mind, even birds fall prey to the Venus flytrap. So think about all the crazy unsolved missing person cases in this country. What if there is a cryptid out there that has a success rate of 100%? We will never know about it. We will never hear about it. It will never be documented. The only evidence that we have for it is that people continually go missing under the strangest circumstances. I crested over the hill, and although it was a beautiful sight, there were no grape dwarf. And there is nothing, no sign of any grape dwarf habitation or anything like that. None of the missing supplies, nothing. Uh, just to be clear, the Swan Valley Survivors Coalition, they have a observation post right on that peak right there. Um, they have a 308, um, some binoculars, nothing, nothing too crazy. And so that's where I'm getting my own intel from is, I don't know, half mile away or however far away that is. I'm gonna guess, tell you what, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna melt some water, hydrate, and I bet there's, they're gonna be right up there on that hill. I'll tell you what guys, the collapse, it's been pretty hard. There's no dentists, no doctors, no cars. All the cars ran out of gas years ago and no one's really been able to figure out a few alternative yet, at least in our region. But I will tell you, feel a lot more uh, not happy. I'm not happy that the world ended, but I do feel a lot more grounded, if that makes sense. Like there's something about 
constantly surviving, thinking every day could be your last. And that was always true. That was true before the collapse, but I don't know. I just feel a lot more alive. Not happy, just alive. I looked through my rifle scope. Those birds right there are bald eagles. Oh my gosh, wow. Here, let me, let me see if I can zoom. <laughs> I don't know. It's spring. I, do bald eagles mate in the spring? I don't know. Bird watching's over. Uh, we gotta go fulfill the mission, so let's get back to work. The bald eagles were a beautiful sight to see. There was at least two more that were down the canyon, and hearing their cause in person is nothing like I've ever experienced before. I guess this is just what you can expect if you actually decide to go outside. Anyway, I climbed up the beautiful greenery into a mudslide where the snow is somehow still here, even though it's the middle of May. However, purified snow is easily one of the most delicious kinds of water I've ever had. It sure as heck beats the city water I had growing up. We've got two grape dwarf signs here. We've got this where they uh, tie up their victims and, uh, you know, grape. And uh, check this out. Grape dwarf scat right there. So, um... Yeah, we're kind of actually, I think we're actually a lot closer than originally, um, than we originally thought. Grape dwarfs should be somewhere in the area. Keep in mind, these grape dwarfs can't be reasoned with or negotiated with. For one, they don't speak the same language that we do. Uh, for two, they've never ever shown signs of uh, being amicable. They've never wanted to negotiate or anything like that. And so the Swan Valley Survivor Coalition, their just policy is just to shoot on side order for them. So, we don't know where they came from after the collapse happened. They might have come from Hollow Earth, might have uh, been here the whole time, and after the collapse they had an opportunity to show up. Might be Chinese, <laughs> Chinese lab experiments, I don't know. But um, I'm sure we'll see one here eventually. Let's see, we go prone behind these AIDS rocks. Ugh. You just go prone Ugh, on rocks, as I do. All right, so. Took a little, uh, my last little water break. I uh, had a very, very productive conversation with uh, the outpost. And uh, anyway, now we're gonna go, we're gonna go see, I think, I think the grape dwarf is definitely gonna be over that ridge. It's just a, just a feeling, an angel revealed it to me. So let's get this going. All right. Look at these beautiful fields. Wait a minute. There he is. Okay. I don't think he's seen me. Look at the area. I'm not sure I'm being ambushed. Okay. It's not moving. That's high. We got him. We got him. That red dot is dead on, man. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. He's dead for sure. Just to be safe.
Yeah, we got him. Take his head back for payment. All right, guys, that's mission complete. We have the grape dwarf's head. I'm gonna make up rich. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please like, obviously subscribe. I plan on doing a lot more armed expeditions like this. For those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, I hope you guys like the adjustment. I plan on turning armed expeditions, just going from armed hikes to actual like training. So um, hopefully there's gonna be a lot more of this stuff in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, please subscribe if you wanna see more and uh, check out Civilian Expedition Outfitters in the description. As I say, lots of great stickers. This is actually a bonus sticker. You have a small chance of winning the hollow sticker uh, if you order. But yeah, we got the misprint with uh, the civilian with two L's. Uh, but yeah, anyway, go ahead and order some stickers, support the channel. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Okay, please get out and do this yourself. Guys, love you, be safe. Uh, please leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, have a wonderful day.